Record recording. Hello. Recording. Hello. Welcome back to Cud Buds with Galen. You've done it. Killer you Monkey Art. Click the video. You've done it. Congratulations. Welcome. Thank you. Um. All right. Let's do a quick rundown of what we just did. So uh, between the last and this episode, we have bought a few things. We sold a few things. We disassembled some things. We tinkered some things. We said goodbye to old friends. Oh, yeah, my jackhammer is gone. It's gone. Disassembled into the ether. Um, well, we got a, a foldy hammer. We got a carbide full of folding hammer. Let me just scroll through everything we did. Uh, it might be better to just open your inventory. Bum, 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 We're not bum, here in inventory, so your bum, equipment. Bum, 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 bum. No, they can just see it right here. Yeah, that's, that is 100% very uh, legible, and definitely everyone can parse that. <laughs> if they truly cared, they would pause it frame by frame. You're not wrong. But we're we're definitely uh, pitching to the mainstream here, uh, aka those that don't care. <laughs> Fine. All right, now let's look at equipment. Yeah. So we got here's what we've got polyhedral we got, rings we got rings on our face we got wings on our back reinforced wings Ooh. Ooh. we've got a little wrist fan for some reason we've got a a wet bloody buckler we got a folding hammer we got an electro bow and a chain gauntlet with too many fingies too many fingies no floating nearby though yet. We gotta fix that sometime. I'm sorry? We don't have a floating nearby. Uh, okay. Oh, you want like an orb? Oh god. Yeah, we want a floating orb. But I mean you have a... you have uh, night vision, so a floating glow sphere would actually be kind of redundant for you. Mm. So but there are other floating nearbys. Not Good yet, ones. Isn't. Not yet. All right. So let's. Uh, we're. We're. I have a. I have a goal for us today. Um, before we head. One more thing before we head to Golgotha. I think. Go on. We're gonna go to the rusted archway. Cool. Hold on. I've got points I could spend. You do have quite a few points actually. Oh. Um. Um, I could bludgeon. I could learn to bludgeon. You already know how to bludgeon. Oh, I could. No, I don't have charge. You don't have enough strength. Can we put a point in strength? I wonder. Hmm. Do we have an attribute point? We do. We could put it, raise hmm. it to 23. I don't know if that is going to be enough. Yeah, all right. I'm stronger now. I just do the job. Nope. Uh, you got backswing. Backswing is actually really nice. Backswing. I love backswing. Every one in okay. four, every time you attack, one in four chance of just getting a free extra attack. Pretty good. I don't think you took it. Uh, I didn't take it. I'm looking. That's okay. I kind of like this. I like Surefire. Surefire is nice. Uh, we could take... Uh, I don't know if we can take Tinkering enough. too. No, we're well, not, not smart enough for enough tinkering yet. too yet. Shoot. Yet. I could repair. What is re Um mm. I don't know if repair is worth it, to be honest. Because you can generally speaking pay most uh tinkerers in the world to repair something for you. Or if you have fix it spray foam that does the job fine. 
How do I? Okay, so I've got on my goals stem cell recharging. How do I do? How do I achieve that? Um. Well, you took the skill, right? Which skill? A recharge. Oh, I guess you already have it in tinkering. Did you already get it? Uh, look at gadget inspector. You might already have the ability. It might be in repair, actually. Now that you think about it. Mm, maybe not. You can try doing it now. I think you might be able to. Uh, go in your equipment or inventory and then... Yeah, look at, look at an energy cell. And then try and recharge. Just like... Yeah, you can recharge it now. It costs you some bits, just so you know. Personally, okay. I don't think it's worth it. I think those bits are always better spent somewhere else unless you really need it because like Energy cells are super common and in fact where we're going they're gonna be very commonplace I honestly wouldn't right. okay. I, okay, I might even recommend like whenever you have a drained or a low chem cell just disassemble it immediately for extra bits Um, some things we want um acrobatics is nice we want customs and folklore eventually like whenever we want to make the plunge on that you're really pushing that but eventually I i'm saying I'm, I'm saying eventually um we definitely want uh i think tactics would be really good for you it's something you can even uh, consider now because like your bludgeoning has charging strike which works with tactics so um charge is just a really good skill all right that's let's get some back maneuvers going in here Yep, I like that. Charge. Mm -hmm. And uh, fun fact, when you have fly, I'm not sure. It might be only when you have wings, like actual wings. You, uh, It actually lets you charge a little bit further. But I'm not sure if it works with mechanical wings. I took deft throwing. I don't believe I've ever taken deft throwing. Well, I I now believe in grenades and throwing them. Grenades are away very good from me. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Well, we definitely at some point want to take wayfaring. It's kind of a must, but um, you don't have to do that now. Okay, okay. We get that uh, backswing. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, I know you said Spicer does nothing. It lets you improve your recipes. Making a call. All right. Surefire. I like it. You've you've gone right. for a very um, broad build, which I actually kind of appreciate. You've gone for throwing, shooting, and um, smacking. Batman, the Batman. You are Batman, yeah. You're the Batman. All right, let's let's You're leave one. this place. Let's, let's leave. We're leaving. Let's leave. Hello. Yeah, it has to make a checkpoint when you leave um, a named location like that. Oh, Want to go up? <laughs> Ascend. Ascend. 
That's actually, I've never seen that prompt be more relevant than in your playthrough. So, um, that little red, um, location southwest of you, directly southwest of you, is where we're going. That's the one. Let's hope we don't get lost. We didn't get lost. Okay. This place is fun. I love the the rusted archway. Um, simultaneously, a very profitable, uh, high yield location, and also pretty dangerous. But it varies, kind of like Grit Gate. It can vary in spiciness. Those are pricklers. They aren't gonna move at all. They're kind of rooted to the walls there. But uh, if you get close to them, then they can do some nasty damage. Ooh. We have centipedes and uh, two-headed boars. I think we missed the recording of your first sighting of a two-headed boar. I think he missed the pig and accidentally killed the centipede, which is pretty good. You can see something is fighting that prickler and it's just kind of going off. I think that prickler's fighting the door. Might be. That's a locked door. Are we... We're not inspired right now, right? Oh, I can't just break through walls. No. no sorry. Huh. <laughs> Can I set up a hotkey to quickly change? If we had uh, a mod, yeah. Oh. No, I'm right. afraid. I'm afraid we're, we're kind of stuck with uh, either juggling things or going through dungeons as, as uh, you know, the Lord intended. One door well, at a time. The Lord intended for me to jackhammer through things, but... That's true that, you know, you were bestowed with an animatic jackhammer. We, we, we got the most out of that boon, I think. I actually think that our, um, your folding carbide hammer, um, is actually doing eight pen now because you raised your strength by one. Nice. Uh, Electro Bow does some really nice damage against things. They they went down once, and now they're out of view. Bzz, bzz. Tortoises are such a pain. Dead. So one thing I am really hoping I, I I don't think that this I don't think that this place has novice of the sightless way. That's really all I'm hoping for. Would really love to not have to cringe around every corner. You want to try doing your uh, surefire? So it's you have to mark something first. Mm. Oh, it's dead. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Multiply. Multiply. No, so uh, I think it's just three to do the surefire. Like once once you have it marked. There you go. That's how you do surefire. It's a little uh, cumbersome. I haven't messed too much with rifles, uh, especially like the idea of t taking two turns to do one of those specials never really appealed to me. But I am I'm looking forward to seeing how you make out with it. Uh, I assume I'm looking for stairs. Yeah, we can do an auto explore at this point. I honestly don't think that those pricklers were, will even get through your AV. You've got pretty good AV at this point. Uh, especially for like the early game. I'd say that rusted archway is like Fairly early game. Like I've even uh, I've even like gone here first before doing anything else Which is probably not a great idea, but You know, it's it's not uh, Super tough Nice And just because we don't have a non pneumatic jackhammer does not mean we can't break through walls It just means it's not gonna be nearly as easy There you go yeah, they are. There's your stairs. Don't worry, Mr. I. Oh. Uh, hello? Yeah. Oh. Hello? Your, your internet died slightly, or my internet died slightly there for a moment. Okay. All right, we're good now. All right, first floor of the rusted archway. 
I think the main thing to be concerned with um, when it comes to the Rusted Archway is going to be turrets. That being said, uh, I really don't think... I think at this point, even chain turrets aren't going to be a match for you. Oof. That's quite the ensemble. Is that a pariah? I feel like there's going to be a legendary pariah here. Are those guys... Oh, that is a legendary pariah. Hated by the fetish of the wardens. Hated by the villagers of Ekebenip. Admired by the Naphtali tribe. That's kind of a toss-up, to be honest. Making friends with the Naphtali tribe is quite nice. I'm assuming those guys are not hostile to you. Yeah, they're neutral. Because they're, uh, they're part of the, uh, the pariah diatribe. Hello. Hello, everyone. More Naphtali. Oh, that's a seed, um, seed sprout. Those are quite rare. Did you see Ooh, the, the green guy? The the green walls, did you see them kind of appearing? No. Oh, okay. But it sounds great. It it kind of happened right in front. In fact, you can still see it. Every time you move, like see the there's kind of a wall growing throughout the dungeon. And it seems okay. to have stopped now. That uh those like green uh, walls below you. There's a creature. I think they might have been killed. Um, that creates grassy walls. Always the last door you check. Well, technically, that's this door. Actually, that's this door. Actually, that's this door. I'm just seeing if there's anything else. <laughs> I always insist on searching at least one more room after I find a thing, just to prove that statement false. Actually, it was the third to the last room that I checked that had the, the item in it. Well, I mean, this thing's still true. It's kept going afterwards. Well, it can't it be true. It wasn't the last door you checked, and then you stopped checking, and then you were just checking for other things. No, I mean, like, if I lose thing, something in real life, I, I, I always, like, you know, just kind of, like, look under a cover. Like, is it Even there? Even after you found it? Yeah, because I hate that statement. <laughs> Like, I found it, but I, I wonder yeah. if it's here in this drawer. This is going very well. There's really not a lot. This is, if anything, the, the main concern here is that this is ending up being to be a very boring rusted archway. You could, like, honestly, in most parts here, just, like, mash the period key on the numpad and kill things. Oh, wow. I'm getting lucky with these, uh... Staircases as well. So you remember when you, uh, I think you made a meal with the spine fruit jam and you had, um, you, you had spines or whatever they're called, mm -hmm. spikes. That's what they do. They, they kind of have that mutation where they shoot out little spikes all around their tile. All right. This is the final floor. There's a few a party things, room for sure. A few things to be concerned about. That uh, that pig up north is actually interesting. Ooh. <laughs> Lit that door on fire. He did. Did you see what he did? He shot fire at he, the door. He's a uh, it's a fire snout. Hmm. You're uh you're really um rapidly moving through the pig tree. And discovering all of the various different pigs. Hey, uh, so, fun fact, you can, um, at least with uh, axes in this game, if you went with an axe build, you can get the ability to decapitate creatures. It's quite a powerful uh, ability. It can sometimes, like, one-shot kill even very strong enemies. And a two-headed boar will survive it at least once. Not twice, though. Okay, that door seems to be... That's interesting. This is definitely a floor you're going to want to fully explore. This is the, the final floor of uh, of our archway. Oh, very nice. That is a very, very nice find you just found. Um, so the grassy yurt mat is really whatever. 
Um, that's a back piece, which would give you some DV. And I think it does actually help mask against ground. Symbiotic fire, uh, Firefly, though. Try equipping that. That's a that's a pretty rare item. Um, you can have a look at what it does. It's it's um, use is actually quite surprising. Friends with bugs. Yep, you are actually on kind of friendly terms with bugs now. That can be really powerful. Right. But uh, Friendship always is. I'm not sure if you caught. So that was actually um, the cybernetics credit wedge is sort of why we're here. Um, this uh, the bottom of the rusted archway guarantees a chest uh, with the cybernetics. Now be careful around that that purple door. If you walk through there, um, very dangerous things will happen. It's a it's a whoopsie daisy moment if ever there was one. I'm surprised honestly that is it is active because I don't really see if it's powered by anything. The the connections are loose. Do we have another... Is that another compass bracelet? Wow. Oh, and a nylon body pack. Uh, kind of a bummer. It is engraved, though. Hmm. Do I want to touch that machine? We do, but um, let's have a quick look first. Um, you see the tile directly right of it? We want to we want to look at that first. Yeah, like you'll actually want to just interact with it. It's it's kind of like the weapons rack. Is there's st there's stuff on it that we want? So let's um when you you don't have to hit tab. If you press space, you can actually examine it here before you uh. Throw it in your inventory. It's a maybe quicker way to do things. Force modulator. The emitted frequencies of your tiniest bits are synchronized with a standardized band for force <laughs> emission. You can walk through force fields. Interesting. I don't know if it's particularly helpful, but worth taking for sure. Especially when it's weightless, it's actually worth quite a bit. Uh, and we're going to want to look at the other one as well, because it also is going to have a cybernetics. So yeah, this is a becoming nook. They are going to let you install cybernetics. However, you need to improve your license um, in order to have more cybernetics. The cybernetics credit wedges that you've been collecting are going to allow you to improve your license in order to uh, do that. So you can, like right now, if you want, upgrade your license. We're, we want to do that. I, can, I have four credits. We can actually do that, I think twice or even three times like throw it throw it all in in here you we don't use it for anything else it's all your credit wedges spent um let's see what we can uh, actually put on ourselves oh not enough points that's a bummer i was really hoping we would have enough for the skill soft plus do i want to install this force modulator or no no, I would say not. It really isn't that helpful. But there is another cybernetic um, in your current location. So we can check out if that's worth it. Smack, smack, smack. Ooh, two cybernetics for the price of nothing. Skin glitter. That could be good. Turns this into a vampire. 8% chance to refract light-based attacks. Actually kind of nice. Um, definitely want to check the other one first, though. And once the other one's five pounds, so it might actually function with a bit more purpose. Translucent skin. I mean, that's worthless to us. Plus two DV. It's real nice when you are working with a DV build, but we are not. I still want to take them both. Yeah, you definitely want to take them. They're worth money. Um, up to you if you want to install skin glitter. It costs you kind of nothing to do so, except for the price of the skin glitter. <laughs> Um, it only costs one license tier, and we can uninstall it later if, if we want to swap it out for something better. Uh, it gives us an option. Um, might recommend the feet. Because, uh... Read my mind. You want, you want glittery feet? I want shiny little feeties. There's, a there's few cybernetics that really make 
good use of the feet. I mean, there are there's good cybernetics for each slot, but you're more likely to find ones you want to replace your arm in your arms. 